Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliances, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. Thank you again. This is David Kogan, and it's a hero morning. We just had the president of Child Help helping so many children, children that may have been abused, a hero on the air. And let me tell you who we're going to be having on later today before we go into our first incredible hero. We are going to have the president of the UPS store with 4,700 franchised locations. And we're also going to have the founder of Blackboard. He sold his company recently for $1.6 billion dollars and he's going to share with us some secrets but let me tell you who we have now all the way from france now most of us have used a site to register for events in fact nowadays when you register for almost anything you do it online our next hero revolutionized the way this is done he is the co-founder of eventbrite here with us is ronan visage he, first, Renaud, i got to ask you, exactly where were you when you came up with the idea to create a way in which users, users register for events? Uh, my co-founders and I were in San Francisco, and we went to a lot of tech events, and we saw that uh, there, was, there must have been a better way to do entry and sell tickets online than uh, using pen and paper and sending emails and uh, maintaining Excel spreadsheets. So that gave us the idea for Eventbrite that uh, we would create a very simple system, very simple to use. Um, quick to sign up and so that you could start selling your, your event in, in, in just a few minutes and monitor the sales and engage with your community. Uh, so we built a feature set of tools that allows organizers to really quickly sell tickets online. I mean, Eventbrite is huge. I must receive an invite a week to an event that uses your platform. What do you think is the secret to have becoming so popular? Uh, well, yes, today we're the world's largest event technology platform. We power more than 2 million live events around the globe, and we process billions of dollars in ticket sales each year. Um, I think the secret is to have been very observant of how technology evolved before we got started, um, to understand what people expected as far as uh, user experience was concerned. And I think the thing that really uh, separated us from uh, existing competitors at the time was our obsession for the customer, uh, to understand them, to talk to them all the time, and really come up with a solution that's tailored to their needs. Um, I think that's really what um, create, created a lot of goodwill around Eventbrite and made us the platform of choice today. I, I mean, again, you're doing so much. You're based in France. You're recognized as the top 100 digital influencer in Europe. How was it expanding your platform to other countries? So we started in the U.S., and that's where our initial takeoff uh, took place. We uh, London, when in 2011, when we started thinking about the international markets, was already our third biggest city in terms of uh, usage. We've been very lucky to have a lot of people adopt the platform around the world, even though we were just in English and only accepted a few currencies. So it was very natural for us to expand internationally. We decided to expand in, in the UK first. Uh, now we have five offices in Europe, and we're present in, in, uh, on four countries. So it's been a big opportunity and also a major challenge. Uh, as you know, building a global company is not, is not easy. You need to uh, scale the technology, scale the team, change your processes so that you can account for um, multiple team members being on different time zones in different locations with different local cultures. So that's something we've been building over the years. It's been 10 years since we started Eventbrite. We've learned a lot along the way and uh, have accomplished a lot to be present in across the globe. 
I, I mean, it, it's just, it's mind boggling because everybody, I'll tell you, everybody in the U.S. certainly knows Eventbrite for sure. You're listening to Alliance's Heroes on Money Radio. Are you a hero in business? Go to Alliance's.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. Certainly, too, we'll have Ronald's um, clip on there, too, so you'll have contact information. You can reach him at Eventbrite.com, Eventbrite.com, or go to Alliance's.com. So much. In fact, you know, not only are you a co-founder of an extremely popular event registration platform, Eventbrite, you're also an angel investor. You're a mentor in the European startup scene, working with so many companies, Mobius Motors, um, and many more. What's the magic to decide which business that you invest in? So I started investing in uh, two or three years ago um, when I decided to spend more time in Europe. Uh, I thought I could uh, share a lot of the learnings that I've had through Eventbrite as to how you build and scale a company um, and exchange with the people here to um, accelerate growth of European startups. Um, First and foremost, I think I'm looking in, in people. People have ambition, who have the ambition of building global businesses, uh, which is slightly new for Europe. I think we've been very European-centric for a long time, but these days are over. Now we're in a global economy, and you have to think big, maybe not from the start, but at least have that in the back of your mind as as you're um, building your, your company. And I think the most talented entrepreneurs really have built a network already uh, internationally so that when they're ready to expand their businesses, they can do so very effectively. And I think angels like myself help them in the process, connecting them with the right people on both sides of the Atlantic or with other countries like India and China, where a lot is happening today. Um, so that's why I decided to um, invest in, in companies in Europe. And, and, and advice that you can give, what precious advice would you give to children to be able to create and be successful like yourself? I think you have to be interested in, in entrepreneurship from, from the early days. I think that's something the U.S. does very well, this spirit of entrepreneurship that is taught along the way by, uh, by the media, by uh, the schools, and encouraged. Um, I think, for example, in Europe, it's not as, as much uh, of a hot topic. Uh, so creating that, that desire to be your own uh, boss in the end, I think, is, is what we can give to children. At least give them the option to do that and don't think that it's a sub option as you build your career. Uh, building your own boss, uh, being your own boss has tremendous advantages. Um, you can control your own destiny, and I think that's what a lot of people jump into the entrepreneurship bandwagon uh, are looking for. And, and I mean, you know, again, we're speaking with the co-founder of Eventbrite. Everybody knows Eventbrite. Again, I get an invite every week. Um, so you're, again, doing so much. Who was the, the biggest inspiration in your life growing up? Who helped you? Um, well, my father was a photographer, and he taught me a lot about being independent. He was a freelancer for most of his life, uh, trying to find clients and uh, traveling around the world to take photograph photographs of animals. So he really inspired me to be um, your own person and to really go after what you believe uh, and just kill all the obstacles in front of you uh, to manage to get where you want to be. I think that was my biggest in inspiration. Not really a, an entrepreneur per se, uh, but still had to be of his own business. Renaud, that's the secret because now I know from another time, another site that you're doing has to do with photography. In fact, if you go to your own personal website, right, you have amazing pictures. So now I know where you get it from. In fact, too, is is professional architecture and the landscape photography, right? Renaud? Yeah. Renaud? Yes. Uh, so I, so I, I grew up surrounded by photos. My father would go on trips for two or three months, bring hundreds of slides that I would go through and help them classify and organize. So I've grew, grown up with that 
desire to photograph the world and to his pictures. And then when I became old enough, I took my own camera and traveled on my own trips and started really being a photographer on my own. Uh, it's a hugely creative endeavor. I think complements uh, software programming very well, both on, on very like creative processes. And that's why I've developed this hobby on the side that I'm doing when I can. Well, absolutely incredible. And again, the co-founder of Eventbrite that everybody knows. We got less than 30 seconds left. If you could take a picture of any superhero, who would that be, Renaud? Would be Superman. Awesome. Well, anyone who strives for a better way to get things done creates a new pathway where one doesn't exist as a hero. Renaud Visage, co-founder of Eventbrite, is a change maker in entrepreneurship and event scheduling. So he is our hero. And when we return, we're going to have the president of the UPS store with 4,700 franchised location, Tim Davis, president of UPS store. <laughs> 